But all right. Well, good to see you again. We're all pals by now. Seriously, oh, yeah. we just need to go out for lunch. I think. Let's you know? do it. <laughs> um, I think you took this role because of Dishy, Mr. Davies. Dishy. That's really what attracted me. I was like, I gotta play a dishy guy. Um, yeah, you know, I just thought it'd be interesting. I thought it'd be super fun, and you know, to have this first male teacher at this private girls' school. There's obvious drama that's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. There's gonna be an energy in the room for sure. So I thought it'd be exciting. And Mary Herons is such a good director, so I wanted to give it a shot. Yeah, what the heck? Now, had you read the book? Had you even heard about it before you took this on? No, 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 not at all. No. Uh, Mary I, uh, brought this to me a couple years ago, a while back, actually. So, no, that was the first I've heard of it when I talked to her. So, do you find it important, um, you know, when with anything, not just this, but when you're doing a movie or TV or whatever it is, if you have source material like this, is it important to you as an actor to kind of go back? Or do you feel it a bit daunting because, especially with something like The Moth Diaries, there's people who have read the book mm -hmm. and they're expecting something. Yeah, I, I don't know. For me, it just it all depends on the project. From to, to, for this one, for me, it didn't seem all to, to be that important. To be honest, I, I just I've had an idea of the character, and I knew I could play it. And that seemed to me that I, I found a truth in it, and just did it that way. I, I, it wasn't going to inform my character one way or the other to read the actual book. To yeah. me, I mean, I, I don't. I think it all depends. Do you find it though sometimes pressure when when there is something so popular that people who've read it, you know, well, is this a very pop to me? I don't even know if that's that popular a book. Is it? It's pretty popular. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's no Twilight, you know, right. but but still, I mean, obviously, there's there's people who uh, it amazes me what people right. you know glob on to. But yeah, I think that was that's a little silly. I mean, it, art has to evolve. It has to change from the the source material. It had, can't when people get so locked into their own idea of what it is, of course it's not going to be somebody's interpretation of that. I mean, that just seems ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Um, your, your, t your character teaches gothic literature. Yeah. Is that something that interests you? No. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, yeah, I did a, a little bit of research into that stuff. No questions on it because I won't be able to remember because no, it was a long time ago. <laughs> it's okay, I won't ask you. There's no test after this interview. Yeah, see, I'm, I feel my heart starts going when we start going into the mythology questions. I'm like, I, I have no idea. Don't ask me about Carmilla. <laughs> Don't worry, not happening. Maybe next year, you, know, you have a whole year to study, and at next TIFF, yeah. that will be Get my interview. Get me with those questions. You got it. No, but I was more interested in the relationship and the, the, where the man is in his life and where he steps out and sort of why and how this relationship, this inappropriate, somewhat inappropriate relationship with the, the student starts to happen. So that was m much more interesting to me than... Than the other stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, I, I was talking to Sarah and Lily, and I go, you know, this is a f set of all girls. I mean, mm. you're pretty well, it's usually the other way around. You're the only dude around. Right. But, but it had to have been, you know, you have dark material like this. These girls must have been, to lighten up the mood, must have been silly, just having fun. What was it like for you to just watch them? Well, you know? I didn't really get to do that, to be honest. I mean, all my scenes are in classroom. If they are, there was Sarah, they're, they're one on one with Sarah. I wasn't around for all the craziness. You know, I just I was there for about a week and then, you know, watched the movie and all this other crazy stuff's going on. Well, that's so. not fair. Yeah, I missed all the fun stuff. Oh, jeez, you didn't get to partake in the pajama party. Well, yes. <laughs> Which is no, probably a good thing. I have no thing. way to, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> You've stumped me. Which is probably a good thing. Right. How did you enjoy working with Sarah Bolger? That girl, I remember interviewing her for In America. She oh, was right. 10 years old. Yeah. I can't believe she's 20. And what a lovely young woman oh, she's, she's turned nice out to girl. be. She's a She's such a pro, too. She's like right on it. She's much better with marks and finding her light and all that, all that stuff than I ever will be. She was such a pro. It kind of blew my mind. Very good actress and you know really nice to work with. Yeah, she was made the you know what could be uh, awkward scenes very easy. Yeah, you know we we've talked at length about your amazing performance in Edwin Boyd and I look at all the stuff that you're doing and ever since I first started talking to you years ago, um, you know you've just so grown it as an actor. You're just so amazing oh, to thanks. watch now, especially with Edwin. And yeah. um, do you still find though every time you get on a set you're learning? Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. I, it's hard to articulate what that is, or it's just by osmosis, by being around. That's why, you know, I made a conscious effort and three or four years ago to start working with really good directors, and uh, you just, you pick things up. I mean, it, it, I, I don't, I'm always learning. I'm always relearning, and I'm always nervous and always scared, and that's a good thing. Yeah, have you ever thought about the directing side of it? Sure. I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, I think every actor goes through something uh, as they get older. Maybe not every, but uh, most people I know, that you want to be in control. You want your taste to be on the screen, and, and you want to be in control of your performance, and you want to be, you want to tell stories visually. Well, you tell great stories, and it's always lovely to talk yeah, to you. Sure. And uh, we're old pals. What can I say? Yeah. Great talking I'll to you see again. You next Thank year. you. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Sure, sure. Take care.